So, we gonna work on that, if possible. And then there's a tall neck off that way that we want to go get as well. Do a little shimmy down here. Oh, is this new... This appears to be new creatures. There's a little healing herbs. Okay, it's shell walkers. Oh, they're attacking people. Well, like, I'd love to save them right now, but, like, have you seen my health? It's not great. Sorry, guys. You're, you're on your own. Normally, I'd be happy to pop in and, and help out, but, uh... Right now, it's just not a good idea. Sounds like they didn't make it anyway. Too bad for them. Hey, Scout! <coughs> Excuse me. That was good food? What did you have? Oh, wait, you said you were making that uh, pasta stuff. I remember. Did you send me some per my per my request? Oh, also, chat, before I forget, wifey today has like a super migraine and is probably not going to be out of bed like all day. So that means I need to let the dog out like every four hours. So um, and I let her out right before we started streaming. So when we hit uptime of like four hour increments, like four hours, eight hours, 12 hours, etc., if I forget, please remind me to let out my dog. Because sometimes I just get engrossed in a game and I'm like not paying attention to the time. And the dog definitely needs to go out at, uh, you know, at the normally scheduled intervals. Never know when I might need these. So, chat, I'm giving you the responsibility to make sure that I remember every four hours to let out my dog. Very important. Needs to happen. All right, we're looking a bit better on health, finally. Still not fully healed. Not gonna but be it's getting better. That hard. Catching it, though. Hello, Glitterhawk. We run. Just run. We're just running. We don't care about the the glit the or not the it's not a glitter hawk. It's a it's a death chicken. <laughs> Forget what it's called. Glitter hawks fly. Death chicken! Run run run! Just run, just run from the death chicken. It's okay. Yeah, three hours and twenty minutes on the clock. Because we're at about forty minutes right now. I'm sure that chat will be able to remind me. Which is why I'm not setting an alarm of my own. Yeah, it's a long leg. AKA the death chicken. Good. I need to come up with better names for like all of these creatures. Jesus. Like we got the death chicken, but we need better names for like everything else. I'll think of funny names as we go along. But ultimately we need to get over there. I really don't care about any of these creatures right now. What are you? Is that a sawtooth? Yeah, that's a sawtooth. That's oh fine. boy. It appears I've been spotted. 
another signal. Turkeys! Oh my goodness, I miss. Turkey skin? Turkey bones? Healing. Lovely. I must be closing right. in on the signal. So we gotta figure out. Let's do a little crouch here. We gotta find the tall neck. Which okay. I know is around here somewhere. And we gotta find out where we can jump up on it. I gotta find it first. Oh, it's right here. Oh, dude, you can jump on it like right here. Mm, not right there. I don't think we're gonna make this, but it will come back around eventually. Yeah, pretty sure you can get, you can definitely get to it there. Oh, hi, Glitterhawk. Alright, where you at, Hawk? Nice try. Oh, I miss. Still. Yeah. I can't see grass. There we go. That'll bring it down. It's on fire. And it's up there, so I can't really hit it. Takes care of the Glint Hawk, which I always call Glitter Hawks for some reason. The Ammon. They're Angry Birds? They are. They're not as angry as the other ones. There's another one. They're called uh, Storm Birds. Those Don't ones are the very Angry way. Birds. These ones are just, you know, moderately. Okay. So, we have also learned that on this island, you can climb up onto the back of the long neck. Um,. I don't think we can do it right here. Okay, that was not a good idea. I thought for sure we'd be able to land in the water. That's okay. Yep. Oops, indeed. That's definitely an oops. Ugg's fault. Play mug. Something nearby is sending. Rip indeed. You're exactly right, Atlantor. I think we're on the island, though. Yeah, dude, we're on the island. It gave, gave us a free thing up onto the island. So free rides are great. This dude is totally going to see me, but we should be okay. There we go. Okay, time to climb up to its head. A little bit of this, a little shimmy like that, a little bit of this, there we go. <coughs> I, I really am lost. Care to tell me something about this game? Okay, so Scout, this is Horizon Zero Dawn. 
It is a third-person action-adventure RPG. You play as Aloy, who, you know what? Hold on, let me pause for a minute so I can properly explain this. So Horizon Zero Dawn is a third-person action-adventure RPG. Think like The Witcher, right? It's an open-world action role-playing game. Think like The Witcher, but instead of a sword, you use a bow, right? takes place in a future post-apocalypse. It's like a, it takes place in like a post-post-apocalypse. So something horrible happened to humanity. Humanity was basically wiped out and had to start over with, but the world has like regrown into a normal, beautiful, lush world, but we're, we're set back like thousands of years in technology, right? So it's like it's it's like a post post apocalypse. Think like uh, kind of Planet of the Apes ish, right? Um, and then the plot follows Aloy, who's the main the redheaded main character. She is a hunter who hunts machines. The world is overrun by machines, which are remnants of you know the past, basically. And she is setting out to like discover her place in the world and her past and kind of figure out why the world works the way that it does. That's that's kind of the game in a nutshell. I still need to work on the elevator pitch and how to condense that into like two sentences, but that's kind of the deal. It's a nine out of 10 game. Sometimes a 10 out of 10. It's a, it's a absolutely fantastic game with one annoying issue and that's some of the facial animation sometimes but other than that it's a flawless game hello sally billy S sally bully sal, sal ball uh, however you pronounce your name hello hi welcome to the stream witcher of the apes yeah kind of um i think what makes horizon zero dawn so good is that uh it the, the the effort that they put into just Sal? Okay, got it. Um the effort that they put into world building and the story really shows. Like, I think Horizon Zero Dawn has one of the most like intriguing worlds uh in video game. It's just a very, very intriguing world to to explore and play around in. The gameplay itself is great, don't get me wrong. You know, it's good. It's good. The combat is very satisfying and very good. But what really sets the game apart is the world building. And the, the story. That's what really sets the game apart. Okay, so we have unlocked, we, we did the tall neck, which means we now can see all of this part of the map, which we could not before. There is another cauldron over here, which we will want to go do at some point. Um, let's set a waypoint for this little bit. That'll hit us this campfire along the way, and then we'll work our way up to this tall neck. Also, we should probably peek. Is there anything nearby that we care about? Not really. Okay, away we go. So why did you need to do that tall neck? So basically, if you climb up on top of the tall neck and you like link up with it with your little hacky stick, uh, it will reveal a huge part of the map. Just think like um, the viewpoints from Assassin's Creed. It's, it's just like that. You go up, you, you hack into a tall neck and it gives you all the map data for the area around it. So it basically helps us reveal the map, which is why we like, which is why I like doing them very early um, because they reveal the map then, and we can see everything there is to see. Yeah, Breath of the Wild as well. Like, it, it's a pretty common trope in I'll gaming. The whole, me. like, go to high place, look around, <laughs> reveal map. I think... As far as I can think of, Assassin's Creed was the first game that really did that. But yeah, it's in Breath of the Wild. It's in a lot of games. Box. 
Not a fox skin. Fox bone, but not a fox. Pity. I hear shooty things. Yeah, there may have been a game that did something like that beforehand, but I, I can't think of one. I'm not saying there isn't one. I'm just saying I can't think of one before Assassin's Creed that was like, reveal the map by going to a high place and looking around. No face cam today? Uh, no face cam for a while. I'm pretty unhappy with my setup for face cam. I really need a green screen and some good lighting. So no face cam today or, or we actually haven't used a face cam for basically the month and a half that I've been streaming full time on Twitch now. Hope you're well. We haven't used a face cam for any of it. I need a green screen and better overlays and a lighting and lots of things before I want to like we will. I'm, I'm not opposed to the idea of face cam. I haven't decided that I am forever going to be a no face cam streamer. I will eventually curse you with an image of my face, but um, not today. And a makeup artist. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. I need to find the right makeup artist. You're right, Scout. So not today. Didn't watch a while, but used to seeing your face. Yeah, I used to use one when I streamed um, every time. But, I, you know, kind of looking back through some of that old stuff and just kind of like, I have a certain level of quality that I want. Um, like the, the face cam I have is, it's not bad. Like it's a Logitech um, C920, I think. It's whatever the kind of industry standard non-DSLR face cam is. Um, but because I have no green screen and bad lighting, like it just looks terrible. Plus, I don't want to scare anyone away right now. You know, we're trying to bring in new people. We don't want to Look scare people below. away with pictures of my ugly mug. Yeah, I think face cam, I, I don't think it's necessary. I think it's good on Twitch where it's more about the conversation and the gameplay and the interaction than it is about the game, at least in my opinion. Um, I definitely prefer YouTube videos without it. Um, but on Twitch, I think it, it definitely is better to have it than not. However, I think uh, before I start using it again, I want it to be like well done. Rabbit, we meet again. Dang it, Rabbit, you've bested me again. I give up. We tried. There's like a lot of things that I want to do. So your YouTube day in the life vid? Curiosity is sated. That's true. I do have vlogs on the YouTube channel that show what my face looks like if you're really interested in knowing. And old clips on Twitch as well that show my face. I mean, I haven't made like a secret of, uh, it's not a secret what I look like. I'm not like worried about hiding my face or anything. I just, just wanna make sure that if I'm gonna go back to doing it, I wanna do it right and have the quality and stuff that I really want. Yeah, I can respect that, Scout. Stop it. You're handsome and wifey is gorgeous. Wifey is gorgeous. I won't deny that. I got hit with the ugly stick a couple times, but that's okay. Dude, I hit this guy so many times, he just will not go down. There we go. No, I'm, I'm actually joking. I know I'm I'm aware of my 
That doesn't sound good. That sounds like something we should run from. I think we've angered the herd. And I don't particularly want to fight an entire herd of stuff right now. So we're going to run. There we go. No, I make jokes. I know that I'm not actually ugly. I wouldn't call myself, like, incredibly attractive. But I'm certainly not ugly. I'd say I'm, like, average-ish. And that's okay. At this point, wifey is stuck with me. Trade in value on spouses goes down significantly. <laughs> She's not going to be trading me in for a new model anytime soon. <laughs> Nor will I be trading her in for a new model either. <laughs> Hello, Black. This is Horizon Zero Dawn. It is a third person action RPG, kind of like The Witcher, except with a bow instead of a sword. And uh, it takes place in a post-post-apocalyptic world. You play as Aloy, and you try to figure out your past in a world filled with machines that want to kill you. It's fantastic. It's a super good game. The, source of the, the PS4 be exclusive that has been out since 2017, and this is now my third playthrough. So it tells you, if I play this game three times in like two and a half years, I must have some thoughts on how good it is. Oh, this is this one. Okay. Hold on. This is the one that has bad guys. So, we gonna deal with that. Let's just see here. If I do a little one of these, let's, let's start tagging people. So, you're a bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. I think that's all of them. You know, this is one of those, like... This is one of those games where it's got a little bit of everything. It's got a little stealth. Got a little combat. Got some... It has a fantastic world and great story. Um, that's what really sets Horizon Zero Dawn apart, in my opinion, is the, the world building in the story is like 10 out of 10. Super good. That's why I keep coming back to it, is because the world building is just so fantastic. Alright, we got more dudes. Oh, come on. There we go. How many more we got? There's one over there that I can't see because it's it's not day. If we can get up here, we can jump on the back of this. I mean, I could just go in and kill them all. It's just regular human dudes. They're not that hard to kill. I can see you and your wife are great with each other. Oh, I, yeah, we're, we're perfect for each other. We're certainly not flawless people like we both obviously have our flaws everyone does but our we complement each other um in that like the things that she struggles with i'm good at and the things that i struggle with she's good at so like um like confidence i have confidence in bunches i have like oodles of confidence i always have I have no problem doing just about anything. Wifey, not so much. Wifey has, like, super anxiety about things that require confidence. On the other hand, you know, uh, responsibility, adulting, money management, things like that. Never really been good at that. Not gonna lie. Wifey, on the other hand, she's, like, she has spreadsheets and binders and budgets and, like, she's... She's, that's her thing. She's amazing at it. Like, we, we complement each other's weaknesses very well. The killers. What are they doing here? Ah! 
He can't see me. Come on over. Bye bye. She's great at being relentlessly happy on stream. Yeah, she's very, she's for the most part a very upbeat person. She just has some anxiety stuff. It looks like they're trying to capture the Tulnik. But she's a very upbeat, we're, we're both very like upbeat, optimistic people for the most part. For the most part, you know, I mean, obviously everyone has bad days. But like I would say for the most part, we're both pretty optimistic. Okay, you're dead. Now there's this dude. Right there. Ah, I moved. And now he's dead. How are we doing on arrows? Pretty good. We're not gonna hit that dude from here. Not with him moving that way. Come on, peek out. Or we could just go kill him. I mean, there is a death gun like right over here. We just light these guys up. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, hard point arrow? Not a Deathbringer gun? Well, that's no fun. I thought for sure it was gonna be something fun. Well. Holy cow, there's way more dudes than I thought there were. All right. Well, we can jump on the tall neck from over here. So who cares? Gotta figure out how to get up there. Right here, perhaps? No. Where does one climb? Up there. Ooh, I see rope. You rappel down from over there. That's that's how you do it. Then how does one get up here? Some climbing action right there. Ooh, I see corruptors. Okay. Right here. Maybe. Maybe not. Over here. Okay, I see. Hide. 